Greetings my festive crafters and welcome to Underneath the Tree. In today's episode we're going to be making Christmas tree decorations. The first one we're going to use is decoupage, or as I call it, posh paper mache. So what we'll need for this is a stock on these styrofoam baubles, some wool, super glue, scissors, kebab stick, a nice soft paintbrush, some old Christmas paper, this was this was saved from last year. And some aluminium curtain hooks. These these all these have been painted before this video was shot, so at a later date I'll show you how to how to paint these. And last but not least, jam jar. Right with everything gathered, you may craft when ready. Now the first step is to take our kebab stick. There's a sharp point on there, so be extra careful. And what we do is we put the kebab stick into the into the uh, top of the styrofoam bauble here. Don't yeah, don't go down too far. Just now the reason being is this will make it easier to handle and to and to put into and to put into our put into our jar to allow us to dry a little bit later in the session. Right, we've got our bauble prepared, time to get our decoupage glue. Now decoupage glue really is just, um, it's the same as the PVA glue we used to use at school. It's water based and it has a has varnish mixed in it, so when it dries it will have a nice shiny, shiny coating. So what we do is we take our styrofoam here, take some glue on top. I put, yeah, I'm not trying to put too much on at the time because um, styrofoam does have a tendency to soak up glue like a sponge. So it's um, sometimes best to have your sort of paper torn up and ready to go. Now the paper, this is this is just old wrapping paper I saved from the, the bin last Christmas. And we'll just tear off little tiny little tiny pieces at a time, not too big. It's about, it's about the size of a first class stamp's a good size, but if it's too big then it will if it's too big when it goes on the bauble like this. So just press that down with your fingers. We'll take more glue. We'll just put a layer on top like that. If it does ride up, just use the just use the end of your brush here, like a it's like a like a little, yeah, just use it just to flatten it down. So, so like that, just to make sure it settles. Or just brush it over like so, just to get the just to get it nice and let's get it nice and flat. Now the principle of decoupage is very it's very similar to um, to making paper mache if any of um, if you remember doing that at school as well when you were younger. We used to make we made paper mache mask at school when I was when I was very young with a balloon and some old newspaper. So basically it's the same it's basically it's the same it's the same kind of thing really. Just sort of covering nice with glue and then just building, just building up a sort of single layer of, single layer of your, um, in this case, wrapping paper. Oh. Sorry, so I said too much glue on there, and that's that's the, and that's one of the reasons why we put the kebab stick in the top, so so it's easier to hold on to with the with the glue, and just use the, as uh, use the end of the. Into the brush there to just flatten the edges out, or just to not tap it, or just smooth it over with the uh, the edges there. For a, for a bit more. 
Now this will work with any, pretty much any sort of wrapping paper of, as I've found over the years making these for my craft store and Christmas fairs I attend every year. The ones I've found that don't normally work so well is the, I call it the mirror paper, the sort of red and green paper with a sort of shiny finish to it, sort of similar, if you have similar to look at this one here with the, that sort of finish on it. That one doesn't normally work well with decoupage really. I've, I've tried, I've tried now for a couple of, couple of Christmases to get that to work, but it's, it's, I think it's because then, um, because it has a sort of very shiny finish to it, it makes it difficult for it to stick. So that, so really any sort of plain paper like this, or any sort of plain wrapping that hasn't got like a plastic finish to it works. Otherwise you can just say, as you can see here, the, the layers are starting to build up, up a little bits and pieces. So the plan is, is to cover the whole, the whole of the volvo from all the way from top to bottom, north to south, be covered with the glue and the paper and action okay so after a, after about 10-15 minutes you'll have something that looks like this so it's all all covered top to bottom in wrapping paper it's a bit messy at the moment but the glue will dry clear um, drying time varies I think with this decoupage glue it's around half hour 40 minutes I'd say, I'd say give it an hour, give it an hour for it to dry and while they're drying we can put them in our, in our jar here so I can just rest in there and dry off and once it's dry we'll have something that looks a little like this this one was, yeah, this one was made a couple of days ago for the shop so that's as you can see Decoupage glue has dried, uh, dried very nicely. The varnish has dried well, so that's nice. Feels nice and solid, and see, they'll never break. These will never break. These will last for many Christmases to come. So the final stages are to take the take the valve stick out. So do is just give it a little turn. See. No, that's a lot of glue at the top there. Yep, so it's just starting to come away. Pull the kebab stick out. Put that over there. At the top there, you'll see there's a little tiny hole there. That's where we're going to put the hook to hang on our tray. And the hooks of them, um, they've been pre, they've been pre-prepared. It's just little aluminium hooks for hanging up that curtains back home painted with some project glue and I'll demonstrate that at a later date. So to glue the, the hook onto the wall we use some super glue. Now I, I use I use super glue gel for these because it doesn't soak up so much so it's a little tiny little dab of super glue there as always with super glue used with great care because it can have a tendency to get everywhere and stick things that shouldn't be stuck. And put the hook in the top there, give that a couple of seconds to, for the glue to go off. It's a little, yeah, just a, there's something very traditional about the day, well, yeah, day when, we, when we decorate the tree when, when, we were, when we were kids. It was almost like a tradition and now it sort of gives now sort of you can make your own baubles that gives that tradition a bit more a bit more meaning rather than going to a supermarket and buying Christmas baubles you could make your own or buy them from our shop perhaps. So the final stage so the final stage now is to step that's nearly that we try in a second or two is to just cut a length of wall. It's just a off cut of what I had hanging around from another project. Just we'll thread it through a little eye there. Tie it together like this. Cut the excess off like that. And there we have it, a decoupage bauble. Now doesn't that look now doesn't that look special? Way better than anything we used to get in Woolworths when I was a kid. 
so there we okay so thanks for watching and as, as usual don't forget to subscribe give us a like and also look out for us on our social media platforms on the at the end of this video and also don't forget to check out our online shop at www.runningmecrafts.com so until next time stay crafty